Hi beautiful, I literally saw this on the Sally Beauty website and said, what the f is that? I have been professionally licensed as a hairdresser for 10 years. I have never touched a 50 volume developer before. Every hairstylist I asked had no idea this existed in the United States. I know abroad there are like a hundred volumes I've heard, but in the US we can go up to 50, legally, I'm guessing. Today we're gonna see what 50 volume developer does. Is it going to fry the hair off in five seconds or is it gonna provide me very nice lift in a very quick amount of time? I'm actually pretty intrigued and excited to try this out. So you guys know I'm a big fan of 30 volume. 40 volume on the other hand, it's kind of a scary developer. I use this one, Mr. Guy Tang. It's intense. It has been a very long time since since I used 40 volume to lighten the hair. Usually the reason why I don't love it is because it lifts very quickly and then it kind of fizzles out very quickly as well. And I'm like, where is the rest of it? But now we have a new competitor here. Maybe this one will provide me that extra amount of lift that this one just doesn't quite do. Or maybe I'll fall into love with 40 volume or 50 or both and we might have a throuple. It's 2022, let's be progressive, okay? I can be in love with two people at once or two developers in this case. I bet you don't really know what a developer is and what these numbers actually mean. In short, these are hydrogen peroxide developers. It lifts the cuticle layer of the hair. And the higher the developer, the more lift you get. It basically is the thing that activates dye permanent color, permanent color, and lightener. Without it, none of those things will actually work and will actually last on your hair. You cannot mix bleach powder with water. But this is the stuff that actually makes the job happen. So this number with the V next to it indicates how much hydrogen peroxide there is in this developer. 40 volume is 12% hydrogen peroxide. Why do we not just say 12%? Well, some lines do, but it became the standard to say 40 volume or 30 volume, 20 to 10 volume, anything like that. Do I know why? No. Could I find out right now for you? I will. One second. I have the reason, and Google has come up with the answer. Every one cubic centimeter of this hydrogen peroxide will produce 40 cubic centimeters of oxygen. The volume is used to define the amount of oxygen present slash released by the peroxide, and we're gonna leave it at that. And 50 volume is 15% hydrogen peroxide. So, a very large amount. We thought this was strong. Oh, girl, we got some competition. Let's get bleaching, baby. Let's fry some hair off. Who is going to be my guinea pig for today? I can like hear all of the mannequins in the closet like screaming like, no, please not me. And I'm like, Argh. I like take one. Oh, there you are. Hi. You are my guinea pig today. You lost, sorry. You got chosen for a bad video, Miss Mannequin. Sorry that you have to partake in this. I hope I don't burn your scalp, but I probably will. How shall we do this? I'm gonna section this be into two sections. I am going to color one side with 40 volume and one side with 50 and see what's going on. How's the consistency? Does it feel like it's lifting very quickly? What is the deal? We're gonna obviously leave these on for the same amount of time each and do the same exact process for each. How's your day, Miss Maniquin? You've been stuck in a closet. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, I'm okay, she's a little mad at me. She just started screaming, oh, <laughs> you don't want to color your hair blonde. I color all their hair blonde. Yeah, you guys all do end up blonde somehow. Unfortunately, you don't have a choice, but thank you for being here. No, you will not be paid. You are quite famous online now though, so you're welcome. Okay, um, I'll be back. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna mix this stuff how I usually mix it. Eyeballsying it. We're gonna start off with the 30 volume. Yes, I do keep my lightener in um, gumball jars. We're gonna do a couple of scoopy dupes. Ooh, oh girl. Let's get our 40 volume in the bi in the bowl. Let's mix it up. Ba -da -ba 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 -da. Smells delectable. Um, guy Ting developers and lighteners smell. <laughs> I lied. Oh God. Okay, maybe not the 40 volume doesn't smell great. The 30 volume does. Oh my God. Somebody get me some ventilation because I can't breathe in here. Um, okay, we're gonna get... <laughs> trying to record a YouTube video and do this at the same time. It's not working out great. All right, you guys, let's get applying here. We're gonna start from the bottom and work our way up. Now, obviously she doesn't have heat coming from her scalp because she is not a real girl. I'm sorry, but you're not. I would 
love for you to be real. No, actually, don't ever become real. I feel like they would definitely murder me and I'm scared. So I have sort of a creamy consistency with my lightener going on and I'm just going to go as fast as possible, making sure I'm applying at the same speed to both sides. That way we can really test the power of these lighteners and compare them to each other. Is 50 volume actually that much more powerful? I just feel like it's not, I don't know. So far, the experience with the 40 volume, the scent went away, so that's good. It was just a burst of toxicness. And now we're good, now we're fine. Thank God. Your boy couldn't breathe. I wanna make a prediction before I get to doing the 50 volume and seeing how that process is. I feel like the 50 volume is really going to burn the hair. It's not gonna be safe. I feel like we're probably gonna see some breakage where I first apply the color and I feel like the 40 volume is gonna end up like yellow. I'm just feeling like that's gonna be the case. Put your predictions down below before you see the end result. Ooh, it is starting to lighten. Dude, it is already blonde in some spots back here. Oh my God. Do you see this? First of all, oh, I am dying. I need ventilation really bad. But unfortunately, when I film a video, I can't do that. Oh my God, my eyes are burning. My nostrils are on fire. It is really quite blonde back here. I don't know if you can like really see that, but it's blonde and it is warm. Okay, let me just cross check this section and finish it off. Okay, let's ventilate this baby before it catches on fire. How about that? Yeah, there you go. A little air, a little air in there. There you go. Let's not start burning. I need a little bit of hair because I want to know how this works. I don't want you to burn off. Oh my God, this is processing so quickly. I'm freaking out. I better get started with the other side before this just melts off. Let's hope I got everything. And if I didn't, we're going to ignore it, okay? We got 40 volume on the clock. I don't know how long I'm going to leave this on for, but I want to make it nice and bright white. So we'll see how long it takes. Probably about 45 minutes. That took 20 minutes for me to apply that section. So we're gonna do the same thing, but with the 50 volume now. Let's start mixing the 50 volume. I'm excited to see what that smell is like. We got my drink of the day here, green tea. Ugh. Oh my God, the time has come in my life where I use 50 volume developer. I never thought that would happen. However, I have done crazier things, so. Oh my God, it's like a child lock on here. You have to like push down to open it, which is probably good because we don't want any children drinking 50 volume developer. Would most definitely kill them. Okay, so far, I don't smell anything. Why aren't you burning my face and my nostrils right now? There it is. There's the scent. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Okay, it feels more or less the same. I don't know. See, this is what happens. My nostrils get burned. I can't tell if it's my nose burnt or the scent is less. But right now I can't smell anything. So I'll take it. Oh, I am so excited for this experiment. Oh my God, the 40 volume? Guys, the hair is gonna like fall off soon. I don't trust it. I don't know. I don't use 40 volume. Oh my God, it's only been like five minutes. This is going to be bright and possibly fall off. I'm actually pretty excited about the 40 volume side because I just like getting things on really quick and having them done really quick. I don't exactly agree with like the idea of using a lower developer for a longer amount of time to preserve the quality of the hair. If you're lightening the hair, you're lightening the hair. So you can either do it quickly and be done with it, or you can do it slowly and be done with it, get the same result. The only thing is the faster the hair develops, the quicker you have to react. So you cannot leave this on for a long time and you really have to monitor the hair. That is the one thing I will say that is the difference between using like a 20 volume and a 40 volume. Like you need to be there to make sure the hair is not stretching more than it should. I should sit down while I do hair more often. This is pretty comfortable. What the hell, is this the secret? Is this what all you other hairstylists are keeping from me? Is it lightening yet? Yes, it's been on there for a whole three minutes and it's lightening. Update on my nostrils, um, they are definitely gone. Mm -mm, I can't smell anything, which is good. Starting to feel a little loopy, doing well otherwise. Oh, every time I look at the 40 volume side, I'm like, Oh, I was expecting it to live fast. That's another level of fast. Oh, okay. Oh, my nose is burning again. Why me? And yes, this is sweat on my face. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, it is hot as shit. 
Oh, I thought the other side was hot. This is like, ooh, it's like burning my fingers. Ooh, if your hair gets that hot, it doesn't seem like it's safe. I've seen so much hair get like slimy and gross after that stage where it gets really hot. Last swipe on the hair and we're done. Let's air this out before it falls off. Ow. The hair is being eaten alive. So Ms. Manny Quinn, how do you feel? She said her head is on fire and uh, we need to immediately rinse it off. I'm sorry, but that is not possible. We do need to finish the job, ma'am. Your hair is blonde though, and the heat stopped, so that's good. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me start the timer really quick for the 50 volume, starting now. We have had the 40 volume on for a total of 15 minutes, and guys, look at these roots. Ooh, and then this is 50 volume. They are almost the same color on both sides. All right, I'm gonna let the 40 volume sit for another five minutes, I think, and we'll check on that, and we'll check on the 50 at the same time. See you then. Okay, we are still processing. We are 30 minutes in on the 40 volume side, and we are 15 minutes in on the 50 volume side. They are actually the same color now, which is interesting. It sort of makes sense, but it's still really cool to me. When shall I rinse this off? I don't know. I kind of want to see it snap a little bit. So I might just let it go to like 45 minutes. That just feels right. I'll check back in in like 10 minutes. Okay, this is interesting. We're starting to see the 50 volume side right here start to expand where the 40 volume side is not. What does that mean? I don't know. But sometimes when it expands, it tends to make me a little nervous. The hair usually tends to not feel great after. But I'm not surprised. It is 50 volume after all. I mean, look at that. It's like foaming. Let's take a look inside here. Oh, oh, the hair is still intact. Okay, ouch, that was hot. The 40 volume is also still intact. All right, it has been 50 minutes since I applied the 40 volume side and it is cooled down completely. I don't think we're gonna get any more lightning going on. I mean, I'm sure if I left this on for another two hours, we get a little bit more, but I'm gonna stop it there. I'm gonna say 50 minutes is our max. They are literally the same color. I'm gonna rinse out the 40 volume side and then we're gonna wait 16 more minutes until the 50 volume side is done. These are our clocks. I will be back once both sides are rinsed off and blow dried so we can see the results. Okay, are you ready to see the results? It's pretty brutal. <laughs> Miss Manny Quinn, come on in. She's very embarrassed, so please don't make fun of her. On camera, it looks quite nice. I don't know what that is about, but in person, there's a lot going on. So we have the 40 volume side over here. It lifted nicely. It actually feels okay. It's a little crisp be a little dry, but overall pretty nice lift. We have a little bit of breakage going on. As you can see, it's a little over processed on the root. Even though she doesn't have heat from her scalp, the hair sitting on top of itself actually does produce heat. So she is seeing a bit more damage on the root section than everywhere else. Now on to the thing we all came for, 50 volume. Looks fine on the top, but section that shit out and we have a lot of damage. Damage that is not capable of being fixed. Uh, her hair is falling out from the roots. Get that off my finger. Um, yes, her hair is very, very pulverized and damaged. That doesn't mean this is a bad developer though. So shall we review? Both sides actually on the top lifted pretty much the same. The heat actually is the thing that broke this hair off. I noticed that all of the breakage is concentrated on the parts that had the most hair layered on top of it. So that heat really pulverized it, which makes sense. I'm not seeing a huge difference on the hair that wasn't heated up it is like pretty much the same color, which is interesting. And they both sat on the hair for 50 minutes. But what this is telling me is obviously that 50 volume is very strong. I don't see like why you would ever need 50 volume when we have 40 volume and it works perfectly fine. If you really think you work fast enough and um, you really have a tough head of hair that is strong and healthy to start with, maybe consider 50 volume, but I'm not gonna say go do that because that's scary. And I don't wanna see you guys with broken hair. 
hair everywhere. Am I personally gonna go grabbing for 50 volume at any point in my life after this? Likely no, but maybe I'll somehow find a head of hair that just looks like 50 volume would be perfect for it and I might use it then. But I literally have no idea when that will be or how that would happen. I was expecting way worse damage than this to happen way quicker, but the lifting power was there. And thank you, Miss Manny Quinn for sacrificing your hair. I have to say you look better brunette and I'm so sorry, but today is your last day and you are gonna go in the garbage. You've been great to me, but it's time to retire. I'm sorry. Another mannequin dies on my channel. I'm sorry. Well, that was an interesting experiment and I'm glad I got to do it. Maybe you found it interesting. I don't know. I found it fun. I never knew 50 volume existed. Kind of dope to learn about it and try it out. If you would like to check out my hair care or my hair color line so your hair never looks like hers and you have the healthiest, most gorgeous hair possible, well, you can do so by shopping with the link right below or go to xmondohair.com. Make sure you follow me everywhere else. Here is my social media handle as well as xmondohair and xmondocolor. You can get hair inspiration on both of those accounts, so go for it. Make sure you guys check out more videos of mine. Here we go. Let's hang out more. It'll be fun for us. And that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.